Martha was um, a very beautiful woman who came in my shop when she was pregnant and married. And I was so impressed with her that I, I, I offered to do a portrait of her. And uh, of course, her husband was standing right there, didn't like that idea at all. So she, she just bought a pot and disappeared. And about a year later, I get a call. It's Martha asking if I want to do a portrait. So I did. She was going through terrible trials of divorce from her husband, and she had four children. Martha fitted in wonderfully. She, was, she, she did some really great paintings, and she decorated pots, and uh, we weren't serious until a year later after I came back from the trip to Mexico. She wanted to get married. And so on, oh, well, another four kids. I made eight kids, that's just a nice round number. When he was married to Martha and they were here with all the kids, he wouldn't leave the shop to come and visit us. We would always have to come and see him. Harry's world is at the pottery shop. I think, in a way, because he was so busy with those children that he tried not to, to see us. Or maybe he didn't try not to, but he separated himself from us. This no longer felt like home, and the shop definitely was not a place where we felt comfortable to come. There were four other kids that had sort of taken our places, and now it was their shop and their family and their house. I mean, until I was older and really realized that, you know, he had been married to Moran once, and had four girls of his own. That sensibility really only came later for me anyway. Um, prior to that, they were almost just names. Harry and Martha they seemed like the world's greatest couple. <laughs> um, so it was really shocking, no less, when they first announced they were gonna get separated. She wanted to be more important than just a wife. She wanted me, me to worship her talent so that I would put aside my pottery and let turn the shop over to her so she'd exhibit her paintings and whatever. My mother is a, I think, a great artist in her own right. And my perception of it is that she wanted more room to pursue her work and didn't feel like she had the opportunity to do that. I think she got tired of deferring to him so much. I mean, he was a good father, he was a good parent. Um, but I think he's very much of a self-centered person. The, the, the world, the universe revolves around him and what he's doing. And the more you can fit into that structure and be willing to go with that and accept that, then you're fine. This thing between man and woman is often uh, matter of how, how much you care for me, you know, as if, well, we're married, therefore you're obligated to be the most important thing in your life. Well, if, I, if you're the most important thing in my life, then my life is dependent on you. And that's not good. I haven't got any strength. You can be related, you can be one of my influences, one of my connections. But uh, if you want to be the center of my life, then that means I have to give up something. And, and I don't think I need to do that to have a relationship. I often think that pottery has become sort of my mistress. And my relationships with women have always been be them being jealous of my mistress. And... Uh, it leads to eventually divorce.